Hi, welcome back to Danae's Lip Lab. And today in this video, we'll be making a layered lip gloss. It's definitely a cinnamon roll inspired. I will be definitely showing you how I create each layer. Um, and like one layer I really like by itself. So I actually have that gloss as well, just by itself, because that's one I made more of. And you definitely want to stay tuned for my final thoughts on creating this. And we're going to try it on. This one looks really cute with a brown liner or like an auburn liner. Yes. And this is like giving me so much like 90s vibe with mixed in with a high gloss like the song that's playing in my head i want like the that you're that kind of guy that i would make a move on. <laughs> definitely like giving me that kind of vibe like what yes i am feeling myself because this has just Y'all, I am doing it with the colors. Like, y'all can't mess with me on the colors. Like, this color is mixed with, like, like that auburn color. Plus, you know, when your mama or your auntie or whoever in your family used to wear that gold lipstick with that, uh, that, that brown liner. Baby, yes. This is, like, a merge of those two. <laughs> All I'm missing is the two goals on the side like that. <laughs> so we're going to be making the one of the first layer of the lip gloss, which is basically this shade here. And we are going first in with Cali Sun. And this is the actual color that I have on right now. I just like absolutely love this. And so we got six drops of that. And then now we're gonna go in with roasted chestnut and we're gonna do two drops of that. We're gonna take one drop of log cabin. So now we're going to add, so now we're gonna add in the loose pigments and I have the burning reflex. I added more of the bronze fine and a little bit of the nosy bee chameleon and those are all are in uh two teaspoons of grape seed oil i just kept it that way because i still keep forgetting to get jojoba oil and we're just gonna really mix that together with my little small blender i really like like look at this color these pigments coming together all together is it looks so good like look at it on my lips it looks so good so we're gonna um get our spatula and just make sure everything is uh because like i said before all of your colorants sink to the bottom so you're gonna really want to have like that spatula just to make sure you mix in it all into the oils so we still have the same base which is one teaspoon no one tablespoon because i've always i whenever i'm editing the video i reflect back and i always say that so it's one tablespoon of the flexi mineral flexi gel and one tablespoon of the mineral versa gel so yeah <laughs> and we're just gonna really mix that together and this color is bomb like i want to do like just one video of this by itself so now we're going to start with white I was very unsure of how I wanted this layer to be but then I saw a company come out with like their swirls for their Christmas collection and I like that they had like a cream layer so I'm going in with pigment white and um, roasted chestnut and Cali Sun so pigment white has six drops the roasted uh, chestnut has 
only one and the Cali Sun has one as well too. I wanted like a cream layer and the pigment I chose was the Ivory Lace Mica. And we're gonna really just uh, blend that together. I believe this is one teaspoon of the grapeseed oil because I'm using less of the lip gloss base to add in to uh, this side of the, this layer of the lip gloss. So I still did the Flexi Gel, which was one tablespoon of that. And I did a half a tablespoon of the uh, Versa Gel. And they're still both the mineral bases. I just absolutely love it. I, I just, I can't. I can't get over it <laughs> and we're gonna mix this together this is like a really good nude shade like OMG oh, what did I create you know I these by itself are amazing and we're just gonna really like work that in in okay welcome to Danae's final thoughts drum roll please in this segment i give you the final thoughts of everything that went on went wrong went good and this was about the hardest lip gloss i've ever done layering baby when i tell you this was so hard like look look at this just to get it to be really precise and not um, go onto the side, it was just hard. Like this is the only lay layered one that looks a little decent, but this is definitely something to practice. Practice makes perfect. And <laughs> your girl was not prepared for this. And whenever you are like, putting it in, dipping it out, putting it in, dipping it out, putting it on, on the lips, it start to blend together, which is perfectly fine. It creates this really beautiful shade. So right here, it looks really good and blended together. I don't know, maybe it was just because of the added layers that I was adding on yesterday when I was trying it on. It did like start to separate a little bit, like the colorants. It was mainly so of the light lighter, layer that was kind of like separating into like the fine lines in my lips so i'm not sure if it's just that in particular maybe i didn't have a good ratio of that layer i did that i did that pat on my back <laughs> and the the creamier layer has monkey farts by uh nature's garden and the Auburn layer has the vanilla so when it's mixed together it gives more like a banana nut bread um kind of smell I didn't get the cinnamon roll uh scent because it wasn't going to come in on time I did um order some more colorants and some more base that's coming in uh well my time today and stuff so I'll definitely have like a lot of different things Come next week but this y'all I outdone myself do y'all see this do y'all see the golden goodness and it's not like big particles on your lip but it still looks really good I'll do a close-up of this one by itself let's see let's see if it's gonna Still looks really good. I really want to do like a liner situation. You want to keep your lips having like a really good brown liner on the side and not really mix and blend all together. We're going to do it in the center. And we're going to pat. Thank y'all so much for watching these videos. And I just wanted to say, like, if you're doing this, like, testing things out with your making your lip gloss, 
it's really good to just the ones that yes i'm investing my my time and money into this but all the ones that i do create because i do create quite a few different lip gloss even though it's a small small batch that i'm creating i do create quite a few of them and what i do is i give them away and people give me their feedback on like the color and how the lip gloss felt on that i could probably sell this for like a dollar five dollars or whatever the case is but i just want to create the best formula that i can so that's why i just give them away and i do get really good feedback from this so if you're someone new just starting off with this that's something i suggest to you just give it to your friends and family i give it to people that i go to church with and just i i'll check back on on with them see if they like it how they like the color when you see people responding really well to a color then that that's something that you know like hey i can actually put this color in my collection when i am ready full ready to launch my lip gloss business so i hope that helped i hope you enjoy these videos um y'all inspire me to keep continue to you to do this work that i am doing i love it i'm just so grateful that i get to share my gift with y'all and i don't have a question <laughs>